progress. Hello, hello, no excuses, ladies. How is everybody doing today? Today, episode number 14. Yes, I am on Zoom. Yes, I am also here on Facebook Live with you. And whatever is your preference, please join me for the discussion. And if this is your first time, I just wanted to kind of give you a an outline really what the No Excuses Ladies is all about. So weekly live or Zoom meetings, that's what we do, is for all the ladies out there whose priority is to learn how to apply the No Excuses mindset in all areas of life. And we're talking primary health, nutrition, fitness, mindset, relationship, partner, family, friends, our mission, learning and more so we can succeed in business and in life. And this group is welcoming all the badass ladies and for and also all of you who wants to become a badass. Because let me tell you, all of us have it. All of us. It's just sometimes for whatever reason life happens and you forget what you're supposed to be doing on this planet, on this earth, and how you're supposed to be almost like living and acting. So I see Fran, I see Adrienne, this is nice, this is awesome. Don't forget that I always post the link for the Zoom so I can actually see you. We can interact and you can ask me questions. So it's more interactive, right? But please stay tuned and send your questions, send your responses because it's going to be awesome. I also wanted to say thank you to all of you who put your time into watching these episodes, replaying them, staying here with me, because it's your precious time. And the fact that you're actually choosing to do that, that's really rewarding. That's absolutely, thank you so much for doing this. And I see Ita is here, that's great. So my really gratitude towards all of you who do that and weekly you show up, you wanted to learn something, you wanted to learn something new or maybe make some comments, and that's what we need. We need a feedback, right? So at the end of the Zoom, we would do like Q&A throughout the session. You can write the messages, send me a message here so I can respond, right? Now, obviously, the homework that I ask you from all the previous weeks to, uh, to, to do, to have it done, usually there is some homework, some question throughout each Zoom or our Facebook Live. But also the homework for all of you who are joining this page is to really introduce yourself and say what is that you do or what is that you, is your goal, what do you need help with. And I know that a lot of us, a lot of you out there think like I cannot go live or this is not me, I don't feel comfortable. This is exactly what this page is all about. To become a badass, you cannot ask. It's almost like, yes, you can ask those questions, but it's important how you're going to act towards them. We all ask these questions. But the badass will going to say, you know what, I'm going to be fine, and he's going to make a step forward and not really think too much about it. When a lot of us will step back and try to convince ourselves that we can't do it. So the badass behavior is just do it. That just do it. Nike got it right, right? They just put it on their freaking message. Just do it. So let's just do this. So uh, what else? Who you need to connect with? This page has a lot of women. Obviously, there are rules and regulations, right? We don't want to create our pages out of the page. But you might connect to someone also that can help you. Now, for those of you who've never met me or don't, you just don't even know who I am. I am the owner of Peak Physique Training Center. We had uh, two locations in New York, seven-figure business, very successful. We changed over 20,000 lives. People got fit, people lost weight. We have people that lost over 100 pounds with us, but it's not just the workouts. It's the whole mindset. That's when we've been working on you, on your headquarters for a very, very long time. So that was our impact. And now we're trying to impact even more people. So the knowledge that I have about fitness, nutrition is over 25 years combined. 
so I can help you with any kind of um, um, problems you might have as far as weight loss and nutrition, you just need to send me a message and we can always do a consultation. So just for you girls out there that's looking to get healthier, looking to uh, step up your game in health and nutrition, right? We don't discuss that much on here. However, here and there we have different subjects, right? So last week we had a guest her name is Jenna, and Jenna actually was a peak freak for two years. She changed her life, he, she changed her mindset, she lost 30 pounds, and what Jenna did for us last week was a hypnosis session. So if you're watching the replays from the Facebook, you're gonna see just the replay up to the moment that she moved us into a hypnosis. So we kept this only on Zoom, that's why I said if we have a specific guest, make sure you're joining us on Zoom because that will be questions that you will have to answer quickly or interact in order to win things or get things. Let's not forget to drink water, everybody, okay? Let's not forget. So I'm sorry for sipping and chomping and doing all this stuff. That's how it works. Well, we got to move forward, right? So today's topic, what's today's topic is going to be? How to stay challenged in current times, physically and mentally challenged. And this topic, really, I have a list of a lot of topics for our, our, our Facebook page right here. But this topic really uh, happened through the challenge that our family did this past Saturday. And I wanted to share with you because I know that you can relate to it and I know that you're going to find something very, um, very trans, like, uh, that will transition you or you will be like, wow, maybe I never thought about this this way, right? So why we need to discuss the challenges? Because we live in a very challenging times. We are living in very challenging times. And what I mean by this is, we need to create, be very creative. We need to have a very uh, a loud creativity. We need to go extra mile. We need to do things and work harder than ever before. And we living in a challenging times, meaning a lot of times when you think about it, you might feel restricted because it's not, hi Donna, hello, hi Donna, because it's, it's not, the same as we used to. However, we got used to the current times, don't we, right? We live with the restrictions or we lived with the fact that we're wearing masks. Yes. But also, it's like because of the fact that it's different, a lot of us might feel like pushed or squished and you feel like this is not the same. I want the same, but it's not the same. And what you do, you kind of adjust to the way of life and you not, and you stop challenging yourself because you take what the world brings you. So if the world brings you everything closed, you closed on yourself and you live this way. That's why our family, Peak Freak family, decided that this year is going to be a year of challenges. So let me tell you what we did. We did 15.6 miles a hike with our small children. Ivanka is six, Tyson is nine. We got up at 3 a.m. The hike started at 5 a.m. and we went all the way to 8.30 p.m. This hike was up the hill. The elevation was over 6,000 feet. My heart rate was up the roof after recovering week after a week of COVID. Do not tell my doctor, all right? We don't discuss the, these things here. So that's why I thought this is a perfect topic for all of us. So why, let me, let me kind of go back and, 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 and why I thought about this uh, to, 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 to really do this. Because as, as we approach, as, as Steve told me, you know, we were invited for the hike and he told me about the hike. Tyson is nine. He did like a crazy bike ride and there was no problem with Tyson. But in my own head, 
I was thinking about Ivanka. So I wanted to ask you, you know, some of you have children, some of them are young. Of course, moms will understand. The first thing, it's not, you don't even worry about yourself. You kind of think about your daughter or son or like, they are so little, how are they going to do this? So from my head, we're going all these questions like, how are we going to do this? Is she going to be okay? What if she's not going to complete? What if something's hurt? What if, what if, what if? These questions, when something challenging coming into real life and you have to make a decision, this what if questions are piled up. We can write a book about it, don't we? I, I, I think you're going to agree with me on this. And almost, it's like a second brain, the, the doubtful brain that asking you those questions that kind of wants to doubt in you and, and wants to convince you that you might not be able to do this because this is challenging. This is something that you've never done before. This is hard. This is difficult. You're not going to be alone. All these things. So your head from a small one grows out of the proportion and the head becomes like a huge balloon. And I have to tell you, when I start thinking about it, I was like, I saw this mountain so big that was reaching up above the sky. But then I thought to myself, wait a second, wait a second, where am I going with this? I've done a lot of things hard in my life. This is not the first and the last time that I'm going to approach something difficult. Let's put it this way. For those of you who know my story, I decided to move to America on my own. I bought a plane ticket, saved the whole life savings and went and saw family and, and, and went to a family that I never knew. I spoke with them on the phone with a broken English. Let's put it this way. So all of you out there, Right now, I'm sure that you have something in your life that is very challenging. I know that you have. I know that you make a, you have to make a decision. Something that it's so big maybe, or so, um, so out of reach that it starts scaring you. You gotta stop and you gotta say like this. Life is all about obstacles. Life is all about taking the challenges and just trying and doing your best. Because living with a pain of regret is worse than actually quitting or not being able to complete something. So I never said no. These thoughts were in my head and I, w and I was sitting down with Afanka and saying to her, this is going to be hard, but I have to tell you, sweetie, there is no turning back. There is no turning around because we cannot be on this mountain by ourselves because this mountain will take 15 to 16 hours to climb. And we won't be able to stay in the same place. We just have to keep on moving. There were conversations like this. And, and she had, she had her faults. But then she said, you know what? I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. And we wanted to do it so bad, so bad. But I have to tell you, we've never done anything like this. That was the first time when back in the day in New York, New York has beautiful hiking spots and we would go here and there. But this was never at intensity as it's here. We do a lot of different hikes here. We choose seven miles, six miles, four miles up the hill you know, about 15.6 miles. That's over 25 kilometers when you're going to think about it. Up the hill, elevation 6,000 feet and a length of it, right? But we knew it that we're going to have a support group. We knew it that we're gonna, it's not going to be just our family. That's going to be some other bad addresses from the projects, the guys, and there will be other kids. So I evaluated this whole situation and I felt, you know what? I would never forgive myself if I wouldn't try. That's not me. And... You, here is, here is the thing that happens, I think, with overall people that win in life and the one that lose in life is that it's all the approach that we take. It's all the approach because people that will not win, they have these faults and they allow them to convince themselves otherwise that they 
should stop. And the winners will evaluate, will understand that there are doubt, that there can be a doubt, that there can be a question, but nobody will ever be able to answer these questions unless the action is put it forward. And that's it. The action is what's going to move you forward. And that's what we did. And I also ask myself, hey, listen, like, what's the worst thing can happen? What's the worst thing can happen? That could, a lot of things could happen. Like, think about it on the hill. <laughs> a lot. But I thought, you know what? We're going to make it work. We're going to do everything what we can to do this. So we went. This was mental and physical challenge. Like, I think that this was the hardest hike. I would say the hardest physical experience for myself. As you know, I train, I coach, I work out with you. It's intense. It's crazy. It's chaotic. We get out of breath. But this was totally different. This was almost like increasing amount of pain and soreness that we got, got to the top. And let me tell you, when we were um, when we were going to the top, the quads were so hard and tight that they were just cramping, and it puts kind of a pressure on your on your knees. And as I was going. I was like, you know, we have a lot of thoughts going up the hill. A lot of times you walk alone, sometimes you walk with someone, sometimes you talk to someone. And I thought to myself, stop thinking about these needs. Stop thinking about any kind of restrictions that you had because nothing is happening yet. I don't have a pain with my hip. And actually, initially, when, when you would think about it, for those of you who have some challenge, challenge in, the, in your life, physical challenge that you might want to take, or any kind of other challenge, I would say, uh, maybe not necessarily a physical, but mental challenge that you need to take, you might be thinking about all these restrictions that you have. Like, whatever there is, it can be physical, it can be mental, and if you're going to concentrate on those, those, those are the, the stopping points. Those are the things that wanted to pull you down and drag you down. So I stopped and I'm like, yes, it's soreness. Nothing is going on. I'm keep on moving forward. And the most important thing right now is that I cannot think about it because we need to get to the top and I need to have enough energy to go down, to go down because this was just one way. Now we have to get down. So I wanted to ask you, think about your life right now and ask yourself really a question. Do you challenge your body and your mind daily to experience growth? Because not only physical, mental, we're talking about mental. So type in the comments. I know that some of you will be replaying this. So please write in the comments because this is so important for us to all know it. Do you challenge yourself daily, weekly, monthly? Are you just cruising on an autopilot? Are you just taking the life as it is and you never think about it, what challenges you can create? Look, for some of you, challenging will be actually a physique workout. Some of you, will, will, it will be very hard for you. So if you've never done it, you should sign up. You just need to send me a message. And we're going to hook you up for the upcoming 21 days. For some of you, you some of you will need a challenge, a mental challenge. So what do you do for these challenges to mentally challenge yourself? This is important, and I'm going to tell you why in just a second. This is important for our self-growth ladies and gentlemen, if gentlemen will be hearing me and listening to me. Why? Because through obstacles through challenges like this you not only uh, do uh, the self-growth is talking about building a confidence here by doing these hard things these things that are so big making those bold moves and out of comfort zone fully it's gonna grow your confidence level and we need confidence to live a better life 
And I know that you're going to agree with me with this. And confidence, how the confidence is built. Confidence is built through knowledge, through competence, right? But you experience something, you go through it, you live through it, and then you can share with others. And that's how your confidence is built. And we're going to go back to this in a second. But I have to tell you, let's go back to the height again for a second. And of course, I, I would love to see, I don't know if you guys are typing in here. I wanted to see who is with me. Uh, Ivanka, Ivanka's energy was absolutely amazing. She had two moments when she, it was very difficult for her. Drink your water, please. She had two difficult moments and how we changed the difficult moments. We separated ourselves from the group a little bit and then we had to catch up with the group. So once we caught up with the group, she kind of uh, started talking, interacting with the kids, interacting with the adults. She got a second win. Yes, she was asking questions. Yes, she was asking questions. How long to go? And we would say, you know what? We would be playing around with her. Some of the MDK project guys would say two. There was always answer to, or let's just do one step at a time because the kids would not even understand what means 10 miles for them. They just don't know. So one step at a time, let's get to the top. Uh, the second hard moment was when it was already dark, when it was already dark, we were going down the hill. We have about three hours to go and uh, she had a moment, she had a hard time, her feet were hurting her, and it was difficult for her. But you know what flipped the switch? How she changed what happened to her? She saw a spot, and the spot was very close to our our spot when we, it was a finish of the hike. Immediately, this moment was like a super turbo engine for her when she got a second win. It was just amazing. And then I realized, look how... Easy is to change your attitude. You got to switch. You got to flip the switch from concentrating on what's maybe so difficult, so challenging, thinking about something else, uh, switching to, to a different, just different thoughts. That's what it just takes. That's what it is. And that's what she did. She switched it on its own. We saw that paddle. She's like, yes, we so close. By also switching and going with different adults and interacting with people and other two kids that were there. At the end, she was just talking and laughing. She didn't even think about her feet after 15.6 miles hike. Today is Wednesday. My legs still feeling it. But we did the workout. No excuses. We did the workout, right? Yes. So Tyson was doing good, but Tyson was limping all the way down. And I have to tell you, he had, he had a, he, he was limping and he made it. So this shows you how much we can, human body can achieve, how much we are able to achieve. I see Arlene join. That's awesome. And you know what? You got to also, when you go and, and, ex, and, and join these challenges and not even challenges, but just in general life, something that it's difficult, when you meet people in the groups that um, do these difficult and crazy things and hard things, you're going to realize that some people have worse than you. But so many times we are so concentrated on ourselves that it's like, you are the center of the attention. I have the worst. No, you don't. There are other people that have same or worse than you. Some guys have broken and fractured toes. It's just, you know, when they were going on a hike, people had other things and you think, oh, wow, you know, this and this. So thinking about this, you should have a better perspective too, that other people can suffer, but they still make the decision to do that. And that's the whole thing. That's what, what separates people from the ones that win and the ones that don't. Because the, the one that don't, they always have some kind of excuse and some kind of a backstory why they cannot do something. That's, that's the truth. When you look at people and centuries and, and, and years of entrepreneurs, the ones that created what we can use right now, lights, cars, 
Mr. Ford, Edison, their struggle sometimes, the repetition of the struggle was just insane. Insane. Keep on repeating and trying and reinventing and doing and they didn't give up. And that's what you can. All of us can. You all are badasses. You just have to switch your attitude. Flip the switch like Ivanka did and switch the negative into positive. There is always a positivity out of the whole situation. Always, ladies. Donna, challenging myself to work out with you and Steve for an hour each time. Make me feel great mentally and physically. Even when I feel tired, the push is worth it. Thank you. Yes. And workouts. Workouts are mental and physical. You will never be able to accomplish workout if you if your mental state is not there. If you if you're weak, you won't be able to. But you keep on trying. You're taking breaks, but you keep on going forward. That's what it's all about. So yes, Donna is joining our workouts. Make sure that you're joining our workouts. We do Instagram, we do Facebook. Every single day there will be a free session. Just wanted to tell you for you guys because we wanted to service you. And we wanted to show you that there is something else that you can do for yourself. So what else happened on that hike? A lot of things were happening. Okay, things were happening nonstop. We were probably like three hours, two hours before the top. And we met a 59 year old lady, 59. She did this mountain 15 times, 15 times, times 15.6 miles, 59 year old. And then you're like, wait a second. So I'm huffing and puffing. This is my first time. And I see 59 year old that it's going up and down these hills for 15 times because she decided she made a goal that by this year, she's going to turn 60, that she's going to do it 40 times. Here we go. That's amazing. Then we were meeting all these people. It was just incredible. And then you see, you know what? It's hard now, but I bet if we do that mountain again, and I know that we're going to do this mountain again, it's going to be easier. I kind of know what to expect. I kind of know what other things to take. You know, I had a loose pants, um, uh, but we were, we were getting ready for the photo shoot. I dropped seven pounds in uh, four weeks. So pants were loose and I'm like, when I put them in the morning, I'm like, I'm fine. It's just a little loose. But as I was sliding on my ass, excuse my language, I was sliding on my ass and that's what I decided to do. I would just sit down and go down because if I would go stand up, I would be face forward. This hill was freaking steep. It was crazy steep. So I decided, who cares? I was covered. We were all covered with mud and everything. It was, it was, we were just so dirty. So these pants were loose. Get a belt. Get a belt. Right? Get a, get a gloves. And the, the hiking sticks were phenomenal. So you learn through this hardship, this hard experiencing, the learning process is absolutely Amazing. Now, for those of you who have kids, have you ever wondered that your own self beliefs, your own self beliefs and fears not only stops you, but stops your children? Let me tell you, think about your childhood. Think about how your parents were, how your grandparents were. I came from a family uh, that is very fearful. Everything, even though when well, my grandfather, you know, taught me how to swim, uh, we would go to the woods and pick up mushrooms and we were going on the long things, but there was never crazy and out of control. They were more like a little hesitant. And that's why this is my challenge in life. I always think to myself, my family would never do this. And I wanted to do it. I need to do things out of control and crazy um, just to not be fearful because I don't want to accept this mindset. Yes, I came from worries. 
but I think most of us came. That's the thing. Guys, think about it. No, 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 no. Don't do it. I have to catch myself sometimes. I'm like, all right, you got to let and let them fail and let them just try. Who cares? But first reaction of my mother, of my mom, love her dearly. She was like, like this, like crazy, like, what did you do? And I'm like, instead of congratulating this, come on now. What is the positivity in all of this, right? Like freaking cheer and congratulate. And that's what I'm saying. It's like, then you realize it's like, okay, the people don't understand. Certain people don't understand. They don't understand the challenge because they've not been challenging themselves. So they will never understand you. They will be like, you are crazy. Yes, I am. We are. We want this. We want this, of course, safety. But we want this because why? As I told you, we want to build the, 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 the confidence. We want to build confidence in our children. We want to, we wanted to show them that human mind, human body, is capable of amazing things. And if we gonna let the fear stop us, look, if the fear would stop the humanity, we're not growing. They would never send that drone to Mars. Tesla would never, was trying to send cars to, uh, you know, in space. That would never happen because they, everybody would be afraid. So ladies and gentlemen, this has to be somewhere put it on the shelf. Fear exists. No doubt. It's there. It always will be there. But eliminating it from outside distractions, outside sources, outside TV. Don't absorb it. Try to be within people that encourage you, that push you forward. That's very important. And why we do the hard things. Physical, mental toughness, learning about yourself. I learned so much about myself in this hike. I learned so much. There is so many lessons here that I've learned. And we all can do this. You know, I've learned that I, 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 I can have that fear, that I am a little bit fearful, that I am... Um, that as much as, um, as I am willing to try these things, I am scared of little things and I wanted to work on and, and I don't want to live my life like this, you know, and that's, that's, that's like really an awesome lesson. And the fact that I saw my children doing it and there were two other kids that were doing it. And so how tough Tyson was that he didn't complain. Whatever was bothering him, he was holding to himself. That's how tough he is. And Ivanka was just proudly marching and just being such a badass little girl. That's like, I told them, I've never done anything hard like this. That you're going to remember this for life. That this is like amazing foundation. So I am challenging you today. To, to set up something that it's challenging for yourself, that challenging workout. Uh, maybe if you don't read books, start reading books, start educating yourself. If you, if you maybe not certain things that you fear or you don't like, go ahead and try them because that's what's going to build your confidence, your competence. You're going to go to the next level. And you know, despite the fact that I was, as I mentioned to you, all these thoughts that I have, <coughs> like this thing, <coughs> <Post -COVID. coughs> excuse me, these things got to catch me, right? The heart rate was out of control. <coughs> I had a hard time controlling it. As you hear me on my video there, I recording these things. And I even was <clears throat> questioning myself, what is wrong with my heart rate? I was trying to take a deep breath in and control it. It was difficult. 
So, uh, as much as we can be limited, we can create unlimited, <clears throat> unlimited challenges for ourselves. So, <clears throat> looking at the situation that we live right now, and <clears throat> nature is all around us. Nature is there. <clears throat> right there, the keys are inside. There is, the nature is all around us. You can create challenges for yourself. Go for a longer walk. Take your kids. They never done it. Take them with you. Because nature is there. No, nobody can limit us for now from nature, right? We can go, we can walk, we can, so do this. And set a set of goals, maybe a once a month that you can do something. Something for you, for your family. Do it. Do it. And I'm telling you, you're going to be so proud of yourself. And all of us need this. I think this moment that you accomplished something, it was hard. You're going to feel like, hell yeah, I did it. It was difficult, but I did it. And now I feel better. We need this stepping stones in our life, I believe, to not only just make you feel better. Yes, and make you feel better. But this positive experience builds like a shield in you that you know later than when life brings you hardship and hard stuff that you will be able to conquer it too. Because more difficult experiences we have in life, I believe that stronger you get. Emotional uh, strength is developed. Physical, mental and I'm telling you, to those of you who want the next level. So please, if you just started watching this video, make sure you go into the beginning because there is a lot of lessons here uh, to learn and, and to be inspired, to be, uh, you know, motivation comes from within. I always say this, that motivation is such a short thing. You know, nobody is motivating me to do these videos. It comes from within. It comes from me because I wanted to share. I wanted to give you something. I want to help you because I deal with this on a daily basis when women struggle and struggle deeply and they don't know what to do or where to go. So start with your physical. Physical and mental will come together. You need to exercise. You need to be moving your body. You need to build your physical strength. And don't tell me that you don't have time. Because all of us have 24 hours. So some of us are successful, some don't. All of us have 24 hours. All of us. It's all about scheduling. And that's why we were talking about habits and scheduling all of this. You need to go back to these videos and start implementing what I was telling you, what I do, how I do it. This is a free stuff for those of you who want the next level. That's what I do. I deliver you the stuff so you can absorb it, take it in. Don't just watch it. Watch and not apply. It will never give you anything. Implementation is the key to success. You can watch as many videos, you can attend as many seminars. If you don't take it in and start doing it, it's not going to work. You need to change something. Humans looks for excuses. It's just a well-known fact. It, it, how did it start it through, through, through centuries? We evolve. It's just easier to not be challenged, to not work out, to eat poorly. But then, when you think about it at the end of the day, you don't feel good about yourself. So look what a vicious cycle. You don't work out. You don't have a schedule. You run around like crazy. You are overweight. You have no time for yourself. You're just taking care of everybody else. And at the end of the day, you feel so regretful, resentment, uh, angry. But you don't do anything about it. So how are we going to start? Start by watching my videos. Go back. Implement what I told you. Start changing your life. 
And you need to schedule challenges for yourself. Challenges is, that's what's going to keep you going. That's how we do these workouts. These workouts are always challenging. Always. Always challenging. And that's how you get to the next level. That's how some of you always stay fit. Not going and looking for easy and going to commercial gym and trying to the easy and, and, and lazy way, right? Imagine, imagine that one thing before we're going to finish. Talking about laziness or choosing the easier way in life. Babies, babies crawl and then get up on their own and start walking. Can you imagine if a baby would say, I am not going to do this. I'm not going to learn how to walk. I'm too lazy. I just going to choose to crawl all my life. How does this sound? Isn't this ridiculous? Can you imagine babies just do that? So where is in us? Come on, everybody. Whoever felt like you, you know, you fell in a way and you just got lazy, you gained the weight. Listen, you have one life. That's what I have. I'm not going to be going into what's going to happen after because I don't know. I have this life. You have this life. You need to take care of yourself. You need to live with your purpose, find your mission, feel good about yourself, be a badass, deliver the best, service the heck out of other people, help them scale, help them discover themselves. Whatever you have, whatever service you have, you got to share. You got to share. You got to like find it. And all of us have something. You just need to, you know, find it. I just recently got on the phone with someone and was trying to navigate this, this, this coaching client and he told me he doesn't know what he likes. He doesn't know what his hobby is. So I said, you know what? First of all, before we're going to even go forward with anything, you need to do your homework. You need to find out what is that you like, you do, uh, what's your hobby, what's your interest. Without this foundation, if you don't know yourself, I cannot help you. You need to know yourself first before someone else will help you. So, What's going to be the next challenge? What are you going to do? I want you to put in the comments. Maybe you have to think and do it tomorrow. It doesn't matter. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Let's, it might be, might be, look, this might be mental, physical. Maybe, maybe you want to open up your business. Maybe you want to go to the next level. Maybe you are afraid of doing something. I don't know. This is up to you. But let me tell you, there is one thing also out of the whole thing. You accomplish one heart, and then you're going to look for another heart. It's not that this was easy, but this feel accomplished. And then you look for another difficult thing. That's very interesting how it works. It's like that heart thing. Go like, wow, you did that. So why don't we do something else with your body and your mind? Don't you agree? All right, ladies, we all got this. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you got a good lesson today. Took some notes. I want to see you as a badass here. I want to see you posting, doing that video, introducing yourself to this page. That's going to be a move out of, out of, out of you, like out of the comfort zone. Oh, oh, this is beautiful. Thank you, Donna. Thank you. Thank you so much for, for beautiful words. Really. Thank you. And ladies, I always look for subjects too. So maybe you want to come on the show. Maybe you do something that you want to share. Let's do this. Let's listen to your story. All of us have one. All of us. All of us have amazing story. I think just some of us didn't put that story together. You know, it took me a while to kind of put my story together and take something out of it. Uh, it takes time to kind of look through these blocks in your life 
and see what was significant, why I did these things that I did. You know, if you don't want to know my story, watch my story when I said to you, I, I was looking for more. I wanted to find my reason and my purpose. And um, I thought that teaching is a blessing as a teacher in Poland, but the world is much bigger and I can reach more people in a different way. I had the internal message and that's what I did. I went for it. I didn't hesitate it. I didn't think twice. I put my life savings into a plane ticket. I flew out here. I went through crazy times, difficult times, never given up, wanted to give up so many times, wanted to come back to Poland, had enough. But then things were also happening and opportunities and things that kept me. And I did what I did and look where we are today. So all of us have a wonderful story. Share your story. Find your purpose. Be a badass. Have a no excuses mindset. Let's meet in two weeks, ladies. Two weeks. Next week we're traveling, so I won't be able to do, I don't want to have interrupted connections. We're going to be traveling through the mountains. And in two weeks, there is scheduled already. I'm going to have an amazing speaker here. A lady who achieved so much and she's gonna show you the no excuses mindset she's gonna show you what means bold moves she's gonna show you that life is just a path of amazing amazing things that can happen to you if you have like a open heart open mind no ego and helping one another amazing story so stay tuned and make sure you're gonna be going on zoom because we're gonna be more participants we have more fun we're gonna have because they're gonna be as free stuff going on and it's typically it's just made 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 for ladies so if you're not familiar with dazzle cosmetics dazzle nail polish you can check it out but it's gonna be super cool super amazing too have her on the show and you're gonna learn uh, more about it it's gonna be amazing so i want to invite you all in two weeks next week no show today is 24 of february so thank you again thank you so much have a no excuses life have a no excuses day i will talk to you later